Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy, and this is a little swatch of a stitch I made some time ago. I wasn't sure at the time if I'd invented it or not, and I invited people to tell me what it was called. Um, a few suggestions turned out not to be correct, so I think it therefore must be something that I came up with myself. It's quite textured, it's not holy, and I quite like it, and I made a blanket tutorial when I first um, came onto YouTube. Um, and I kind of like it. Um, if you use soft yarn, it's good for baby blankets. It's also good for scrubbies and things like that because it is quite textured. So I'm going to show you how to do this stitch and I'm going to do a competition so that at the end of it, I'm going to invite everybody to come up with a name for it and there will be a prize, which I'll show you at the end. So uh, for this particular tutorial, I'm using Aran yarn from Poundland. I've been using it on my tutorials lately. It's quite good to um, to see. And that's a four weight in the US. And I'm using a six millimetre crochet hook. So I'm going to pull out some yarn. Bear with me a second. I pull out quite a bit. And I would normally leave a nice long tail, but it doesn't really matter because it's just a swatch at the end of the day. So we make a uh, slip knot. And for this, we need an odd number of stitches. So we will make an odd number of chain and one extra. So I'm going to do 15. So that will be a total of 16 with my one extra. So I'm going to do 15. I'll go quiet while I do that because there's nothing worse than somebody else counting at the same time as you. So that's 15, so we'll do one extra. Okay, so I've done 15 plus one, which is 16. So this one on, okay, I'm a bit zoomed in, sorry I did that earlier and need to come out. So this one on the hook doesn't count. This is our first. So we're going to go into the second chain from the hook. So we're just going to insert the hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. So that's a double crochet in the UK, which is a single crochet in the US. So that's our first stitch and it will also be our last. And the next one is a treble crochet in the UK or a double crochet in the US. And those are the only two stitches. So we yarn over, we go into the next chain, yarn over and pull up a loop. So we've got three, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And those are our, the, just the only two stitches that we're going to use. So again, we'll do our double crochet UK and then treble crochet UK. And we just keep repeating that to the end. Move my yarn. I hope you can see that, I'll zoom in. I just forget to zoom out again sometimes. I'll zoom in a little for you. So basically we've we've done our tall stitch. So we're doing our short stitch. The next one, the tall stitch. And this is how we go on all the way to the end. I'll speed up. If I go ahead of you or you need to watch it again, then please do. So this is the second to last one. And as I said before, we start and end on that double crochet UK or single crochet in the US. We do one chain to turn. Let's get some more yarn. <clears throat> so this is what the reverse of it looks like and that's how our stitches look. So here we are again. Now this here, we ended on our 
single crochet in the US or double UK. And that is exactly what we do into it. So where we had a single crochet, we do a single crochet. Where we had a double crochet, we have a double crochet. And if that's the UK terms, where we have a double crochet, we have a treble crochet. It's very confusing having these different terms. I wish we didn't, but we do. So that's basically it. In our short stitch, we have a short stitch. In our tall stitch, we have the tall stitch. And we go all the way, oops, nearly did it wrong, all the way to the end, and that is the repeat. And as long as you start and finish with the smaller stitch, which obviously is a single in the US or a double in the UK, then jobs are good one. So I kind of like the texture of this. It's nice for a blanket. There's not holes, it's lovely and warm. And it's nice and textured and bobbly. So when I get to the end, and I only do this with the uh, this particular stitch, I go into the last turning chain, if I can get into it, which doesn't look like I can. I try and get through it because that gives you a very, very straight edge, but it only does it on that single crochet US, double crochet UK. That's the only stitch I will do that for but all the others I will go into the last stitch. But for that one, I always go into my turning chain. So again, we start with our short stitch. I'm just gonna call them short stitch and tall stitch because of the terminology, I think it's easier. We all know what they are. And we just com completely repeat that until we get to the size we want. So if you're making a blanket, you just remember that you'll need an odd number of stitches to start and end with the same stitch, but you just need one extra stitch for your turning. So you need an even number of stitches, an even number of chain for an odd number of stitches. That's the best way to remember it, because obviously there is just two stitches in this. I need to pull some yarn out. It does eat the yarn quite a bit, I would say, because it isn't wholly, um, and it is quite a dense stitch. So again, I don't think I'm gonna get in that corner one. It's I've made that a little tight but it does help to keep the edge nice and straight by going into that instead of the actual stitch. Sometimes I'll try and get them both. And if that's, that's the best ones, when I actually get in both the turning chain and the stitch, then I'm somehow it kind of makes me happy. But basically that is it, that's the repeat. And it's not long before it starts to take shape by the end of this row, you'll see the same texture as on the swatch I just made. I really like this stitch. I made a lovely uh, baby blanket and it was such soft yarn, but you can make it with rougher yarn and do scrubbies, which is what I like about it. Not that I've ever made a scrubby, I still never have made a scrubby or any kind of washcloth. Right, so I'll pull out my... And there you can see, it's just taken on that. What I like about it, it's kind of like a, a kind of a box of bubbles. I'll show you on the larger swatch. I just like the texture, I like the way. And if you do it in a smaller hook with the um, DK yarn, it's much like a neater bubble but I kind of like it in whatever yarn I've done it with. 
it's always the same. It looks nice and chunky too. So that's it, basically. Very easy stitch. Just remember when you've done your short single crochet US or double in the UK, you're going into that stitch with the same stitch. Where you've done what's called a treble in the UK, it's a double crochet in the US, you do that in there. So you're just re repeating. Now I've seen that stitch the other way around where if you've got a, um, I will call them single crochet because the two doubles is confusing. Where you've got a single, you go, you do a double. And where you've got a double, you do a single. I've seen it that way around, but I've never seen it this way around. But I really like the way it turns out. So the, the competition then is to name that stitch for me. Because I've already called one the crochet rock stitch and I'm not very good at picking names. And the winner will receive some Poundland yarn. And these are the ones that make, I'm going to zoom out now. These are the ones that make the little flower. You can see in there, you've got the red and the green. And it's very popular. This one, I believe, don't know if it does. I think it, it either does or it, I think it does. I'm not sure, but I can't see it. But if not, it's just colourful. And so there's two 50 gram skeins of this one, two 50 grams of that one, and two of the brights so six skeins in all oops i don't want to lose it down there dusty down there so yeah there's those i haven't got big enough hands to do this I always hate my little hands but there you go so that's what the winner will receive and this competition will run until the end of january we'll give you a while to come up with a name um and uh Thank you for watching. The rules are that you have to be a subscriber to my channel to enter. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell and you'll receive um, notifications when there are new videos and new tutorials. So this will end the last day of January 2020. So obviously, if you're watching this at some time in the future, that was the end date of this competition and it will now have a name. So thanks so much for watching and bye-bye uh, for now, everyone. Good luck.